Hello Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen and today I'm here to teach you how to make a basket weave stitch. Now this is a nice stretchy stitch that is reversible, looks amazing on either side and it can be used in so many projects. Scarves, shawls, baby blankets. This is part of a stitch library knitting series I post every Sunday and if you click the link above you'll get to see the entire playlist. Forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. You'll need a skein of worsted weight yarn, a pair of size 8 knitting ne needles, a tapestry needle, and a pair of small scissors. We'll begin by casting on a multiple of 8 stitches. In this case, I'm going to cast on 24 stitches for this swatch. After I cast on, I always take a moment to count my stitches and make sure that I have the right number. This project is an eight row repeat and the first four rows are worked as knit four, purl four, and repeat those stitches across the row. When you've finished your first four rows, take a moment to check that the knits are lining up on each other and the purls are lining up on top of each other. Now for the next four rows, which are rows five through eight, we're going to do the reverse. We're going to purl the first four stitches and knit the next four stitches and keep repeating that across the row. And you'll see that on this row alone, the um, you're going to purl on top of the knits and knit on top of the purls. So you can see where I'm purling there will be a knit stitch below it and then when I knit I'll have a purl bump below that. But it's only for this row. It'll be nice columns for the rest of the rows in this section of four. We finished row eight and now you can see how our basket weave is working up. So continue rows one through eight. You'll start again with knit four, purl four, and keep repeating that for four rows and then alternate it and, until your swatch is finished. Here's the trick I use to keep track of my knitting. I number the rows and then I write down what stitches are going to be occurring on each row. And as I finish a row, I check it off. So if I put this away and come back to it years later, I'll know exactly where I am in my project. I publish a new Stitch of the Week every Sunday, so click on these links over here on the left to join me. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to get notified every time I post.